So how's it going guys, Shady here, and today I'm gonna bring you an Infernoble decklist, so uh, being the warrior types my favorite decks, this is the one that I like the most because uh, it's really strong, it's versatile, can play to multiple hand traps, and it's still uh, kind of balanced because of um, Isolde, the biggest choke point in the whole deck. Uh, it's a, at the same time a really powerful card and a, a really balanced card at the same time because it's so vulnerable to lots of hand traps and uh, yeah if this goes off it's really insane otherwise you're you're kind of fucked so <laughs> uh, that's the thing and other thing that I like in Warriors is that Isolde can kind of like search for the equip spells by sending to the uh, to sending to the graveyard in this kind of deck, so yeah, I think warrior type decks are kind of cool and Infernobles being tier 1 because this is super strong uh, and I'll, I'll show you guys more uh, combos um, later um, it's just... Uh, I, I really enjoy playing Infernobles uh, so yeah, uh, let's get let's get into it, so first uh, I need to talk about this, this really uh, stack deck, so we're playing 60 cards because we play 5 Garnets and since we play 5 Garnets you need uh, to have the, le the lesser chance to draw them so we're playing 60 cards because of it uh, so yeah, let's just get into the Infernobles right now so Triple Ogier, this is the, one, uh, the second best normal summon from this deck this basically uh, sends uh, Gear Free uh, um, not a gift, uh, wire type or a um, equip spell. So uh, most times it's just used with Renov to search for Gifrid and play through in the bureau or any other end trap that you might need to play through. And that's why Ogier is a, a must have three of. Uh, next to playing Triple O Oliver, this is a really good um, extender. So basically, this either discards uh, the rain uh, equip spell or a Fire Warrior to special summon. And sometimes when you kind of break, not uh, like uh, when you open with garnets like the, uh, the garnets uh, on the equip spells, like Phoenix Blade or Smoke Grenade, which are not kind kind of garnets except for the Divine Sword. This is a garnet. Um, you don't want to start with them because we're gonna search them with Isolde. So um, if you start with that, it's not that bad because Oliver can special summon by pitching it to the graveyard and then you just keep going with your life uh, triple renaud this is a really strong card so basically when uh, if you control a fire warrior you can special summon it um, you can only special summon it once per turn and if you special summon target a fire or a equip spell and add it to your hand and yeah uh, being a level one warrior that special summons as a tuner and gets recycling just like can add you like super strong cards like Gearfried or Durandal for you to keep comboing off, it's just really insane. Uh, next we're playing Triple Durandal because this is basically a Rota, it searches for most cards in our deck. So yeah, I think the only card that you can't search uh, from the, the Warriors is Gearfried. And uh, the new space connector because and the dolphin because they're not fires. But uh, from the fires, Gearfried is the only one that you can search. You can search for Red Layer, you can search Fire Flint, you can search for Infernoval. It's just a, a really insane card. Uh, next, we have uh, Heritage. So basically, this either adds a Durandal or a Infernoval monster. So basically, it's um, a, one, a, one extra Rota. So basically, um, you, we play seven Rotas in this deck, and that's really strong. Um, next, we play Triple Connector. This is the best normal summon because it, it special summons from the deck a Dolphin, and Dolphin can just straight up win you the game by taking care of end traps from your opponent. A Dolphin is one of the the biggest baits that, that you can have in Yu-Gi-Oh. So, yeah, uh, pretty insane for for Warriors deck. So uh, yeah, we're playing double dolphin and not one because uh, sometimes it can be useful. Um, it lets us uh, activate new space more than once per turn, uh, more than once per duel. I mean, and uh, if you 
have one in their hand and uh, you open uh, like the space connector and dolphin you normal summon the connector connector special summons dolphin from the deck then you discard the dolphin using dolphin effect take care of a card from your opponent's hand then you tribute the connector to special summon the dolphin from the graveyard and to take out another card so basically you can deal with multiple uh, hand traps uh, that way so uh, yeah it's a good card to have on multiple copies just don't play three it's not uh, necessary two is good it's uh, kind of ideal so yeah uh, five flint lady this is another insanely good um, extender just special summons if you control a warrior no no need for more uh, it has a second effect but you basically never use it so it never mind um, um, it um, yeah never mind about it so yeah uh, another great part about this is it's searchable with the rindle uh, so yeah uh, an extender really strong that it's uh, really really easy to get access of uh, next triple gear free this is a really insane card um, basically special summons for free by banishing an equip spell you can do it pretty easily in this deck uh, next, uh, he has an effect that he can negate by sending an equip spell to the graveyard. So he negates a monster effect by sending an equip spell or a monster that is equipped to a monster uh, to a uh, to a monster uh, to make a negate. So it doesn't matter if it's equipped to him or another monster. If it's a equip card on the field on your side of the field, you can send it to the graveyard to negate a monster. So yeah, really good card. And basically, when uh, you declare attack on the damage step, you will non-target equip a monster face up from the field to discard, which is uh, pretty insane because it can do it, deal with so much things. Like this card deals so well with Dragoon because it's non-targetable, uh, non-target. It's not a destruction effect, so it's just insane. Uh, so yeah. Uh, must have three of you want to see this as much as you can uh, next double red layer is just a special summon and it's you need at least one in your deck to make uh, one of the combos and i'll show you guys later armageddon knight because of plague spreader uh, one for one this special summons lots of monsters can be a renault can be a, a fire flint can be a death bot so um, it's a really good extender uh, emergency teleport. This can help you to go into needle fiber if you uh, if you get the impermed or ashed on your isold effect. Uh, next, uh, we play uh, uh, Rota because it searches every warrior in our deck, except for Girfried and Red Layer. Uh, one monster reborn because it's an extender can help us lots of times. Uh, one called by the grave to deal with ant traps, still a really strong card even though it's limited to one. Uh, one divine sword because it can generate lots of discards and it's uh, uh, basically searchable with Isolde. Uh, smoke grenade to take care of cards from your opponent's hand, part of the combo. Uh, double living fossil because it can be uh, used on the combo. Uh, it's more of a, an RNG thing so you don't see it too much uh, but you need at least two copies if you if you have to um, summon armageddon with isolde uh, triple copies of ddr you want to have the tree on your deck because then power tool guarantees for you to have a ddr and ddr is pretty insane because you can just repeatedly use divine sword to select what monsters you want to banish to then special summon ddr and basically just set, sets up DDR, it banishes from your graveyard the monster you want to special summon and generates the discard for the, sp the spell, so uh, DDR and Divine Sword are just insanely together and yeah, you must have 3 cards of this uh, next one Gamba, this is just a level 2 tuner it, it, I'm using Gamba and not other level 2 warrior tuners because I want it to be fired so that if I kind of break and get Oliver on my hand, I can discard him to special summon Oliver. Uh, Deskbot, this is part of the combo. It's a level one machine that if you special summon more than uh, more than one machine type monsters at the same time, it special summons from the grave. So part of the combo. 
Uh, Cold Wing basically on special summon gets two tokens so it can combo off with Deskbot. Uh, don't want this or this in your hand. Uh, if you have this in your hand, I, I will show you how to how to combo with it. Uh, next we have one Plague Spreader to get, uh, get with Armageddon. Uh, triple triple tactics talent because um, this deck has so much extensions that in, if you get end trap, triple tactics is just a, a really good um, card to activate because you draw two cards and you either draw two extenders or two combo cards or you draw two end traps which it's not useless so uh, yeah it's a really insane card and Otherwise, you can just use other effects. I mostly just use it for the drawing to get comboing off, but it's situational. Sometimes you can use the take control if your opponent has a, um, a dragoon or something. But I usually like to use a draw. And traps. We're playing triple ash blossoms because it's one of the most most versatile and traps in the game right now. Uh, it can cover up a lot of things. So. I'm playing three of it. You can play for air traps what you want. I just like Ash Blossoms. I'm playing two Droll because this is an insane card against meta. Like um, against Dino, it's pretty strong. It's not super strong, but it's pretty strong. Strong. Uh, it's pretty strong against uh, Dragon Link. Dragon Link almost can't play if they get trolled, which is kind of funny because it's a tier one deck that just gets completely shut out, uh, sh shut down by. Draw. Uh, next we have a triple gamma uh, and a driver because uh, gamma is one of the mo the strongest end traps. Uh, it basically is useless if you go first, but uh, it's still strong, too strong, and uh, you need it to be able to use emergency teleport. So if you take this, just don't play emergency teleport. Play the other things. Next, Triple Imperm because it's a really strong card. So basically, this is a gate you can activate from your hand, and they can't call by the grave it, which is pretty strong. So yeah, now going to the extra deck, I'm playing one access code. I'm trying. I think I'm gonna uh, trade it maybe for Boral Sword, but I don't know. Uh, I have the access code in here uh, because it's an insanely strong card and. If you still have the Aurora Dawn from last turn, going into your next turn, it, you can make access calls so easily and it will be so freaking huge when you do it. So uh, yeah, access code is a really strong card. Uh, next we have uh, double Isolde because uh, sometimes if they, they gamma you, uh, you can just make... Uh, if they gamma on first effect or they imperm on first effect, you can just get an extender on the field and make another one and go for the other effect. So yeah, pretty strong. Uh, must have two. Don't, uh, don't play only one. If you get entrapped, you lose. It's not worth it. Uh, next one, Link Cross, part of the combo, gets two tokens on the field. Uh, one Needle Fiber, so we can uh, get um, either the death, spot, uh, the death Spot from our deck to keep uh, extending. Uh, one or rod on to get tokens on the field to special summon death spot from the graveyard. One arrow because the level 4 negate that makes your board immune to a droplet. Uh, March Marcher, this is a, a level 3 uh, synchro extender, part of the combo. Uh, Tatsunoko is a really strong card because when you s uh, search a monster if is old, you can't use it for um, its effects or normal special summon it. But you can still use Tatsunoko to synchro with it, so basically um, Tatsunoko is a really strong card to have in the deck because of the first effect of his ult. Next we have a Roland, uh, pretty uh, um, normal card to have, this is just to go into the Charles and get some searches on the end phase. Uh, two powerful dragons, uh, sometimes if you go for the Armageddon Knight combo you're gonna need a double power tool but uh, yeah a really strong card uh, searches for equip spells so basically this will guarantee a DDR if you already have a DDR just put two DDRs in the living fossil just um, 
depending on what cards you have in your hand, just do that um, these sur uh, searches. That's why you're playing like five uh, special uh, extensions uh, equip spells that can be searched. Otherwise, you can just search for the Randall if you haven't used and just go Renault sometimes. But um, DDR and Living Fossil are the best ones to search for portal. Uh, next, we have one bar load because just a really big. Uh, link monster that um, can get some negates. Uh, I don't use this most times, I just go for Omega and take care of another card from opponent's hand, but you can do the board load if you f uh, feel like you need it more. Uh, next one Omega because just takes a care of a, a card from your opponent's hand. And the Charles to smoke grenade. The um, side deck is pretty net, uh, pretty usual, so I'll just go and show you the two combos right now. So uh, I'm back here and I'm gonna show you the combo, so we basically just need a way to get two wires on the field. I'm using Neo Space Connector because it's uh, basically the best one to do it for, or no. I'm gonna show you other thing because most people will always do it. So I'm gonna show Ogier plus Durando, which is, in my opinion, if you don't, if you your opponent is not that much, um, it doesn't use that much entraps, this is the best combo, otherwise you, it's the connector combo. So yeah, uh, this is a really good combo that um, generates one extra negate uh, from the normal combo, which uh, sometimes you can use to play through the bureau. So yeah, let's get into it, so normal summon Ogier. Ogier effect will send a gear freeze from the deck. Durandal, equip, then you activate Durandal to add a Renault and destroy itself. Then Renault special summons, you activate Renault to get a Gifrid to your hand. Then you go for Isolde, and Isolde gives you a Red Layer on summon. So now you're gonna banish the Durandal. Special summon the Gearfrid and activate Ogier to equip to Gearfrid. So on the fourth summon, you're able to play through Nibiru or even protect your result from Gamma, which is pretty pretty good. Uh, next, you're gonna activate Isolde, pretty usual, just Divine Sword and Small Grenade to get Gamba. Then use Isolde for Link Cross. Get two tokens on the field, use Genba and a token for Marcher. Marcher gets back, not to the end, sorry. Gets back Genba and Genba makes a Tatsunoku with those two. Then you're gonna use a Tatsunoku and a Red Layer for either Omega or the board load, but this time, it, right here, it must be uh, Omega because. If you have a gear field and Omega on field, um, you can't um, go into Aurora Dawn because you are uh, gonna have your field clock, so just banish, get rid of a card, so let's just get one token to opponent field so we know what, what, how many cards we took from, from him, so took one card, then Alki Firex, get Despot, these two can be used for Auradon. Auradon on summon gets 3 tokens. Since they're all machine, you can activate Despot to go to, to a field. Use Despot and 2 tokens for Power Tool. Power Tool effects you're gonna reveal 3 DDRs and basically add one of them. Um, then you're gonna use Aurora Dan effect to send the bar tool and a token to the grave. And special summon Coltwing. Two tokens. And this will get Deathbot back on the field. Next, use Deathbot and one token for Errol. Then you wanna banish Gamba and another random monster. I like to banish the Red Lane because it's useless on the graveyard. 
and get Phoenix Blade. And use DDR, discard the Phoenix Blade, get Genba. Now Genba and a token for Roland. Activate Roland effect and go into Charles. So this is the combo non end phase. The Roland you will give you a warrior. You can either just search for a warrior for next turn to combo off like a connector or something. I like to get gear feed because it's a really easy card to get on the field and it's really impactful. Then send one equip, I just like to send the Randall. Then Charles activates to get smoke grenade. And if you want to, you can equip uh, get a, a monster from the deck to equip. Since most times you use this one to go to the graveyard to negate Nibiru or other end traps, you want to get another one, and I like to do it with Oliver because it's the Infernoble that um, needs more cards in your hand to uh, be useful. So since we already went through our combos, it's better for us to just equip him. So uh, you need to have a, um, the monster equipped with Charles because you're no longer gonna have uh, Ogier on the field because you already negated something. So the Oliver on the field uh, attached to Charles will give Gearfried another negate for next turn, which is really good. Uh, then since we equip the smoke grenade to Charles, Charles activate to destroy it, and we get rid of another card. So yeah, this is a combo. So. They can't droplet because they can't send monsters from the hand to the graveyard or from the deck to the graveyard. You have one negate, two negates, a disruption because Roland is in the graveyard. And you took two cards from your opponent's hand, one of them by your choice, which is really insane. Um, so I'm gonna reset deck and I'm gonna show you the next combo. So uh, I'm back. I'm back again, and I'm going to show you a combo for when you get Coltwing on your hand, which is basically the only kind of Garnet besides Genba that you really are can't play if it gets in your hand. So let's just get into it. Since we have Coltwing for this on your hand, I'm going to use Connect because it, it uses less cards from our hand to combo. So normal summon Connector and get a Dolphin from the deck. In this part you can discard another random card in your hand to look at your opponent's hand, you see what they have, and you can take either um, you can either take care of an end trap from their end or another monster, and then look at them and think what you're gonna do to make your plays. Uh, after that you just go into Isolde. Isolde on summon adds the red layer. Even though it just doesn't matter at this point. And next we're gonna activate his ult for 4. So we're gonna send a Divine Sword. A smoke Grenade. I like to send a Durandal. And we must send a Living Fossil. And get Armageddon Knight on the field. Armageddon Knight on the field will activate to send Plague Spreader to the graveyard. Use his ult for... Lingros. Lingros gets you two tokens and then you're gonna return the Coltwing for Plague Spreader to special summon. Use Plague Spreader, one token and Armageddon for Power Tool. Power Tool will get you a DDR again. Just like last time, just banish two random monsters. Uh, random warriors, I mean. And DDR back the Plague Spreader. So, uh, then make Marcher. Marcher effect. Get play. Then use this two for Alki. Must be this two for the play to be uh, to be used. Then we get Despot from our deck and we're gonna use Despot and the power tool for either Omega or Borlo. But once again I like Omega so I'm gonna do Omega and take care of a 
Carl of Hornet, and if you use Dolphin, I'm, you will take care of another card from there, so I'm just gonna put another. So we took care of two cards of our opponent. Uh, we, we use Omega now, so they have three cards in their hand. We go for our Rodon. And now the combo just gets exactly like the rest. You're gonna get Power Tool. Power Tool now will get to choose two DDRs and a Living Fossil. Doesn't matter, you just want the Extender. We got the DDR, if you get the Living Fossil it's the same. Uh, next use both for uh, our Auradon effect to get Coltwing. The one we return to the deck. Get the two tokens from Coltwing and this gets back Deskbot. Deskbot and the one token Arrow. Get Divine Sworn again, banish two random monsters. I'm gonna banish Isolt and Dolphin because they're the only ones on my graveyard. Um, at this time, since we have the place right on the uh, on the graveyard, you technically don't need it. But like, I'm gonna return um, the Divine Sworn. It's just it's the same. Uh, or no, no, I'm gonna return the, this one to get the play. And this gets Spanish. And you get Roland. Roland effect. Charles. And now. After this, what we can make, since we uh, use Plague Spreader to get the. Um, how is it called? Uh, we made Plague, Plague Spreader uh, the combo, so we didn't need the DDR for, for, for it. We're gonna um, use the DDR to get Omega back and take care of another card. So, DDR, discard, get Omega, Omega banishes, sell, and get another card from your opponent's hand. Um, then you just go to end phase, end phase Roland effect. Once again, I'll add Gear Free and send it to Randall. And then we're gonna get Smoke Grenade and get Oli, not banished, sorry. And let me get this in the spell equipped. Then just destroy the Smoke Grenade and we get rid of another card. So basically, with this combo, um, if you were able to get um, the, uh, the discard with Dolphin, we took care of four cards because uh, of the, the second power tool uh, being able to get us a DDR that we didn't need it, but we still used. So Omega took down two cards. We took one with Dolphin and we took another one with Charles. We still have Droplet Immunity. We have a Negate on Herald. We have a Disruption on Charles because Roland is on the graveyard. And next turn we have a non-targeting destruction with Auroradon. Or we can just normal summon a, monst summon a monster and make uh, access code with this. So this is really insane combos that uh, uh, you're able to do with this deck. Uh, obviously, if you get hand trapped, uh, you're not going to be able to make these particular combos. You're going to have to adapt to your opponent's play, but these are if you're able to do the best plays. Uh, and yeah, since I've showed anything, I'm going to leave you guys with the replays. So drop a like if you enjoyed this. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Comment down below if you have any deck recommendation for me to do next. And that's it. Gonna gonna uh, leave you guys with the replays. See ya.